In this video, we're going to be sharing with you new grants for the month of October. A $2,000 mortgage grant, $5,000 in grants, a $25,000 grant, a $400,000 grant, a $1 million grant, and up to $24 million in grants. Let's get started. Hey everyone, I'm Rindy from Ask Rindy, and welcome to the number one community for real estate, income, and credit. So if you'd like to know what these new grants are for the month of October, those that are expiring, they need to apply now. Make sure you watch the video to the end, and leave a comment below if you need help with anything. So we're going to be sharing with you new grants every month, from personal grants, to rent and mortgage grants, to small business grants, to easy grants, to emergency assistance grants, and much more. And we're going to be updating our calendar section in our resource area at my website, askrindy.com. And you can view our calendar section for the latest updates on grants. You can also register for our grants masterclass now available. Number one, mortgage grants, $2,000 per household in grants. So the New Jersey Realtors, a trade group of over 62,000 members of which I'm a part of, have made available grants for residents who have been impacted by Hurricane Ida. So the Realtors group has recognized the need for disaster relief assistance and pooled resources together on their own to be able to help families and those who have been impacted negatively by Hurricane Ida. So this is a mortgage grant and also an easy grant because it has only two qualifying criteria. Number one, the grants are available to help with those who have their primary resident in the state and their property has been damaged by Tropical Storm Ida. Number two, the grants are available to help with rental costs due to displacement from their primary resident because of Hurricane Ida. So these are going to be $2,000 mortgage and assistance grants and the applications are now open. The deadline to apply is October 31st. To get more information, you can simply go to their website, relief.njrealtor.com. You can also get information in our resource area. Number two, Orange County, California, Granny Flat Grants, over $25,000 in grants. So California lawmakers are offering low-income residents and homeowners over $25,000 to add ADUs, or accessory dwelling units, on their properties. So these are for residents earning 80% less than the area's median income. And the goal here is to be able to help with the affordable housing crisis that they're currently facing following Senate Bill 9 and the elimination of single-family zoning. So these ADU units or accessory dwelling units average in size from about 600 to about 800 square feet. And they cost about $300 to $375 per square foot to build, with a pre-construction cost of about twelve dollars to $15,000. So the criteria to get these $25,000 grants include you must be a U.S. citizen and you must be refinancing an existing property. To apply, you can go to California's website at hcd.ca.gov. We're also going to leave application information in our resource area. Number three, Detroit, Michigan, medical emergency grants, over $5,000 in grants. So the Rauschen Bird Foundation, based in New York, just announced one-time grants of $5,000 for artists who've experienced medical, dental, and mental emergencies in the last six months. So they've teamed up along with the New York Foundation for the Arts to help artists and consultants who practice visual arts, film and photography, video, choreography, and much more. To apply, applicants must have experienced a medical setback. And to be eligible, single filers cannot have an income that exceeds $75,000. And joint filers cannot have an income that exceeds $150,000. So the deadline to apply for this grant is October 4th, so it's coming up. And the recipients will be announced on November 9th. You can get more information by going to their website, RobschenbergFoundation.org. Number four, Illinois. Over $24 million in small business recovery grants. So Governor Pritzker and the DCO, the Illinois Department of Commerce and Economic Opportunity, just recently announced their Back to Business Recovery Grant Program. So these grants are for small businesses facing acute operational impact due to the pandemic. As I previously shared in one of my other videos, Illinois has been pushing hard for their small business recovery. So for this Back to Business Recovery Grant Program, there's a total of 521 grants. And these grants will be spread across 146 cities within the state. Now this wave of grants is meant to help small businesses with rehiring staff and also operating costs. The grants will range from $5,000 to $150,000 based on the applicant. The deadline to apply is October 13th. To get more information, you can go to Illinois' website at illinois.gov. Number five, New Orleans, Louisiana. Over $400,000 in federal grants. So New Orleans businesses are now receiving federal grants for business startups in struggling neighborhoods. As a reward of the Sprint Challenge program, these EDA grants are from the U.S. Economic Development Administration and is built to scale program. So the aim for these grants is to invest in scalable startups and also provide seed capital. Now NOLA BA, the New Orleans Business Alliance, is overseeing disbursements of the funds and grant. Now they're aiming to make grants available for businesses and startups in New Orleans, specifically the Lower Ninth Ward, Holly Grove, Jerktown, and Treme, to name a few. 
So these grants start at $5,000 and the businesses and startups will also receive technical support. To apply, you can get more information at NOLA BA's website at nolaba.org. We're also going to include information on this specific grant in our resource area. Number six, Shirts, Texas. Over $1 million in small business grants. So the city of Shirts in the San Antonio area has received over $10.4 million from the America's Rescue Plan. Due to the pandemic, many small businesses in this area face losses and also income. To date, over $1 million from the $10.4 million in funds has been allocated to be able to help small businesses that have been negatively impacted. Now for small businesses, this is an easy grant because the qualifications are based on loss of revenue rather than income revenue and profits like some grants which are harder and much more difficult to get. Now to be eligible, businesses must provide evidence of loss up to March 2020, but not before. Applications start October 1st and end December 1st. To apply, just simply go to their website at shirts.com. So we're going to leave the info for these grants and all the other areas in the country and grants for October that we didn't cover in this video in our resource area. So you can actually view more grants in our grants calendar section in our resource area. You can also join our grants masterclass, now available, where we teach you about getting grants by going to my website, ashvina.com, clicking on grants and getting started today. So if you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comment section below. You can also email me. My email address is ashvinianetwork at gmail.com. I look forward to seeing you guys on the next video. Until next time. Thank you so much for watching.